Hello everyone, hope all of you are doing well. So today I come again with a new topic in success factors in the new year of 2019. As I am preparing this video during the new year phase, so I like to request everyone a happy and blissful year to all of you, all of my viewers, all of my subscribers. Hope all of your dreams will come true in this new year. Uh, so let's come back again to our success factor world and uh, today as you already seen from the thumbnail we are going to discuss about how to calculate premium pay for overtime so before moving on i like to request everyone please pause your video for a while hit the red subscriber button uh, if you have not subscribed yet to my channel and you can check my uh, other previous uploaded videos as well you can get the play playlist uh, from the i icon in the top right corner here and from that playlist you can get all of my previous uploads hope uh, those videos can be useful for you to get the more knowledge in the sex factors now let's proceed to our topic today um, so the prerequisite of today's topic you need to check uh, first my this video how to configure overtime calculation in time sheet because this video is related to the basic configuration of overtime uh, in the time sheet in the ec payroll time sheet if you understand this topic then we, it will be easier for you to understand today's topic if or if you are very new then uh, obviously just go through this video first then come back to this new video or uh, if you are, are already walking in this field then you can enjoy this uh, today's topic without watching this uh, previous uh, uh, my previous video so this is up to you actually so let me just clarify a few things first what do you mean by what time and what do you mean by uh, premium pay actually so in an organization every employee is uh, their um, plan to work some uh, specific planned hours actually so let's say it is eight hours for an employee so employee if work more than eight hours uh, then those extra hours uh, we can call as overtime and for those overtime hours uh, organizations are liable to pay extra wages to the employees so those extra wages we termed as premium pay so today we will see how uh, the premium pay uh, for overtime can be calculated automatically uh, based on the input of the timesheet entries so to demonstrate that i have picked a few uh, scenarios today so basically i have picked up three scenarios the first one is employee if employee work overtime in the normal working days then employee will be compensated 50 percent more of the base pay uh, second scenario is if employee work overtime in the weekends then employee will be compensated 70 percent more of the base pay so for for an example uh, if employee base pay is 100 employee will be compensated 175 for the overtime hours in the weekends and third scenario is if employee work overtime in the holidays employee will be comp uh, compensated double of the base pay that means 100 percent more of the base pay so let's check out uh, what should be the configuration steps first so this slide i have prepared to demonstrate the configuration design because it can be a bit complicated or um, process to understand so that's why i thought to prepare these uh, pictorial uh, configuration steps so that can be easier for us to understand when you are going to configure that hand hands on in the instance so first object we need to configure time type that can be the uh, working time type or uh, knowledge transfer or whatever the daily activities employees doing that kind of time type but the classification of the time type should be attendance second object we need to configure here is time records filter uh, that is a key point today because based on this time records filter we can bifurcate our input to the working days or non-working days or uh, holidays weekends whatever it is third uh, object is time type group so we are talking about the inputs and outputs so those inputs and outputs should be captured via time type group that is the purpose of this object and next is time valuation so we are talking about the inputs then uh, calculation or processing and then outputs so we'll do this calculation or processing time valuation is the object responsible for doing this uh, calculation and processing so there are valuation types available by using of those we can do that so today we'll see specifically the two time uh, valuation one is aggregated input and split another is uh, filter input groups so those two time valuation we can see today and next one is time recording profile so all of these time valuations should be captured in the time recording profile and that time recording profile should be assigned to employees job information 
so that the employee can be eligible to uh, to be in scope for these calculations for overtime so that is the top level view of this configuration design and if you dig one step more then uh, we can find working time that is what we are going to configure today then as a time recording uh, filter we are going to create two filters one is work day another is holidays then we are going to create one uh, input group where uh, time working time will be used as the time type here in this input group then uh, this input group will be applicable to derive ot here the time valuations i have marked in yellow colors so uh, input group will be uh, imported to derive over time derive ot in this time valuation and it will generate uh, the output as normal working hours and another output as overtime uh, overtime hours so then another time valuation we are going to use here work day versus non working day where the input will be overtime hours which is derived from the uh, derived ot valuation so from there we can get also two outputs one is normal overtime hours another is non working day overtime hours so next step is uh, to bifurcate the holidays so here uh, non working days versus holiday this valuation uh, will be used and here it will generate the output of weekend overtime hours and another output of holiday overtime hours similarly for the work days as well uh, for not working day versus holiday another uh, time valuation we will use and it will generate the holiday overtime hours as well so two holiday overtime hours we can get one from non working day another is from working day then we can uh, aggregate these two uh, outputs and create our uh, total holiday working uh, overtime hours that is our overall design so uh, here how the uh, wage type uh, factorization will be applied so for normal working hours 150 percent base pay will be applied as a valuation factor then weekend overtime hours 175 percent will be uh, applied for the on the base pay and quality working hours it will double 200 percent base pay will be applicable so this is the overall configuration design that we are going to perform in the system so let's check in the system uh, and move as per that yeah uh, hi guys so we have uh, logged into our instance right now uh, so first thing we need to create the input group so let's create the input time table group here group so in the manage data we want to create as you know input active group manage data and try to create the input group from here so uh, the external name i'm putting here is just input group I put this in external code uh, and then time category I am setting as working time because this is an input group and the time pay type uh, should be set as no and UI component that should be set as no because I'm, I don't want to get these as uh, in the UI screen so this is what you and uh, time type that is important uh, so i have already created one working time as an input uh, time type here so it, it is nothing but an attendance classification uh, type of time type and uh, unit i have set as hours so it will capture the it is the time of uh, regular working that employee is investing in the time sheets um, uh, if you want you can create the other uh, work, um, time types with the classification attendance like uh, knowledge transfer or business meetings or client meetings anything and uh, you can assign the same in the time type association the uh, time type uh, itself or time type classification okay, created now let me see this name because it will be confusing later so in that so time time 
first time table cookies yes cookies created now another time table to create here hours that means it is going to capture the regular eight hours that employees work in a day uh, and uh, this should be calculated time because this is going to hold the data from the output of the time valuation and uh, okay let's make this field name as not regular working hours let's make it based 100% because regular working hour for regular working hours employee will be paid uh, as per the base pay only so I am just putting this name as base pay 100% 25 this is at a regular working hour but you will be paid as per the base pay there is premium pay and should time type time pay type and should be displayed Another time table. So don't be confused because we are going to get a lot of time tables and uh, time valuations. So it's just a game of uh, time tables and time valuations for splitting the time tables over in terms. So uh, another time table. Time valuation. Let's open a new tab. For time valuation, time valuation as a wait a bit, is it and uh, over time? And uh, here, that means based same as it is. Now, the important time valuation type what should be the time valuation type here? Uh, our target is to split the input groups into regular working hours or base pay 100% uh, and the overtime so it should be aggregate input groups and split it then we have to set uh, one threshold type as well so i am setting the threshold type value as fixed value and i am setting the value as 8 hours that means considered as overtime and it will be captured in what time scale and um, valuation method and setting valuate per day <coughs> day basis it will be valuated and now <coughs> time type below and above <coughs> but uh, so <coughs> so time type uh, below it should be uh is pay 100 percent because the working hours which is working time type uh, of 8 hours or equal to 8 hours okay now system is take 
okay and second time table book above it should be over 10 okay uh, let's say this Yeah, now it is successfully saved. So our first uh, time valuation is uh, created, which is not a bad as well. Time. Okay, just uh, underscore derivative. This uh, time valuation we have created just now, and now the second thing is we need to derive our uh, now this this is the total over time uh, we can get from this uh, output of this time valuation okay now we need to derive our uh, whether this uh, over time is work on a regular basis uh, means working days uh, regular working days or any weekend or any holidays based on that we can set our which type factor okay so let's do it for that uh, we need to create another time valuation Get is to first bifurcate the overtime into working days and non working days. For that purpose, we need to use one valuation type here. Yeah, uh, input file uh, filter input groups that should be the valuation type we need to use here, and that is the key of this uh, whole configuration. So here, this uh, valuation type is work based on some time records filter as we already seen in our design. So here we need to use uh, some specific time records filter. So our purpose here is to bifurcate the input uh, time type input group into working days and non working days. So here we need to choose more time records filter. Uh, which can perform this activity. For that, we have already created one time records filter called work day. So, what is that basically? So, if you check in time records filter, there are five, uh, one, two, four, five, five categories are available. Okay, one is work day, another is uh, work day, the, uh, week day. Sorry, if the uh, if we see, select the week day, uh, any specific day of the week like um, Monday, Tuesday, or something, based on that. Uh, by bucket you put the uh, input time table. If you select the holiday class equals to full half, based on that it will by bucket your input uh, time table to the output groups. Similarly, here we said work day means working day as yes means this category. So based on if we uh, based on our uh, input time table, whether it is in working day or not working day, based on that it will divide the output to two time table that is our purpose here similarly you can use the day model shift classification and period model classification as per requirements as a time record filter so that is the thing uh, and here the time type uh, group the input uh, group should be test over time because now our purpose is to divide this over time based on working day, a non working day, or holiday. Okay. Now the time type group below and above we need to create here. For that purpose, we need to create two time type groups. Let's create it again. Time group. So our input here is over time and 
to give these standard to uh, walking first one this standard so you can capture the output walking uh, it will not create the template type it will not show the component Okay, so first did that this name the notepad as well. Second time to really need to create a non working day as well uh, to capture the output of non working days. Uh, time category. Time and let's set okay. So our working days and non working days are set here. Let's assign that it is work day uh, in uh, time table above the non working days and. What uh, time to group walking days? Save this. Copy this time information. Okay. For a difference. Okay. Now, our purpose uh, uh, now we have got the walking days and non walking days. Now we need to divide these walking days into uh, regular walking hours and uh, holiday uh, open holidays because non working days already separated from the input. Now, within these working days, there can be uh, two things will be there one is the regular working hours, another is the holidays. So, let's uh, time transition for that. Here as well on valuation type we use and the time request capital we're going to use as politic class and the input group should be walking days now uh, here as well we need to assign two time table group as below and above let's create those First uh, external name we need to create as first is a one percent. So uh, because uh, as for our uh, requirement, if employee worked in a normal working days, then uh, employee will be uh, normal working days and. Uh, Employee worked in overtime hours, then employee will be uh, compensated 50% more of the base pay. So that's why uh, the base pay should be here as 50% uh, more, and uh, it should be overtime premium uh, valuation result category, and it should be 1.5 valuation factor. And as is Will capture the output so time category should be calculated time and this time pay type should be yes and ui component also should be yes so let's save it to test to pay 150 percent is time type date. okay and similarly, another time type group we need to create, create here that is uh, non 
weekend holidays so another option that should be obviously non weekend holidays because weekends are already separated in different output time table okay so and we are now going to uh, bifurcate only working days between uh, regular uh, working days so over time and uh, holiday uh, non weekend holidays over time so that's why it should be non weekend holidays and it should be calculated time and i'm not setting the direct time pay type right now because from the non working days as well there will be an output of holidays so we combine these non weekend holidays and weekend holidays and then aggregate that together to get our holiday uh, which type factor okay so that's why i'm not setting as a direct uh, time pay type and not going to display that in any way right now display that aggregated holiday the ui so let's wait. Here. Uh, now in the time valuation, uh, time type group have set uh, set as base pay one fifty percent, and if it is time type group. Uh, below where the time day for sweater is uh, class goes to full then we have to set this time time on weekend holidays that's it save it so from uh, working days we are getting these two output base pay 150 percent and on weekend holidays so similarly for non working holidays we need to uh, apply this uh, bifurcation as well. So let's create another uh, time valuation here. This should be week and Because obviously, non working day there will be there will be two uh, output. One is either it will be weekend or it will be a uh, holiday. And uh, here the input group will be okay, this is time valuation first, and the input group should be non working day. Let's put it here. Now again the time valuation we need to use the filter input group and the time before filter should be holiday class. Now what should be the time table group below and above? Let's create those two. Time table group. This way once fifty five percent. Because if employee is uh, going to work over time in the weekends, then employee should be compensated 75% of the base pay. And it should be over time premium. And the valuation factor should be 1.65. And time category should be calculated time. Time pay type, yes. And component, yes, because we want to show that in the screen. Let's say. This is and another uh, time type to create an name of this time type be only on weekend holiday and weekend uh, it should be just calculated time and category and save this now you notice we have already created non weekend holidays and now we are going to create, uh, we have created 
holiday on weekend so combination of these two should be an output uh, should, uh, should be the uh, output of integrated holidays okay, where the base pay should be double uh, it should be double that means two times of the original base band uh, because uh, 200 percent uh, of the base band. So let's assign time duration. Uh, if the time that to have uh, of this, then it should be base pay 175 percent. And if it is below, then and basically it is just filtering the input so over this uh, time, uh, time valuations are created now last time valuation it is uh, holidays uh, compensation uh, okay holidays get the uh, indicated time valuation factor time valuation Name teacher equated holidays save here as well. And first, the uh, what should be the input? You see, the input should be on weekend holidays. Another input group should be end and here yeah, the time uh, valuation type we should take dedicated input group sense because we are going to use the valuation. Uh, valuation method should be valued per day. Now special type. I am putting at a fixed value and putting the fixed value as zero. Uh, this because our purpose is just to indicate that not splitting the values and uh, so whatever uh, you put here um, uh, in the above section then they are based on the inputs you need to indicate it and put output here only so let's create our another time type uh, group capture the output test uh, is percent because it is going to be double if they work uh, for ten in the holidays uh, time valuation factor uh, time valuation result category I'm setting as over ten premium valuation factor it should be two uh, and time uh, category should be calculated time uh, time beta yes and I want to show that in points so component as yes That was and assign it to the digestion and digestion. So let's see. This is the overall uh, configuration now uh, regarding the time valuation as input and output groups and uh, getting the time type groups as input and output groups and the time valuations. Uh, now we need to create one time coding profile to collect all of the time valuations. So let's create one time coding profile. Let's create. Time coding profile. Time recording period. Uh, I'm setting as default. It is nothing but to define the first day of the week. So already one time valuation period created where first day of the week is set as Sunday. And recording variant is uh, duration. So I'm keeping as it is. Recording method positive. I'm keeping as it is. There's no workflow. So I'm not keeping any workflow. Let's see. 
and time valuation so all of this time valuation we have to assign it one by one in this time recording so far and I'm just assigning all of the, the time valuation. That's why I wanted uh, all of those the note pads. Correct. Yeah, all of those are assigned. Test TRP 12 our time recording profile is created. Now the next task is to assign it to an employee. This one test employee I have already created test employee one so that employee is full and assign it. Go to the employee show information right now employment. So we have assigned our created time recording profile. It will show the information right now. Right now, so it is set. Now it is time for testing. Let's uh, go to this employee's uh, time section. The timesheet, let's go to the timesheet. So, um, the timesheet is let's uh, test the scenario, uh, scenario one first. That means if in the weekdays employee work uh, more than eight hours or employee work uh, four times, then how it can be uh, bifurcated in the uh, timesheets? It's uh, 31st Monday, this is a weekday. Is not mean weekend, not mean holiday. So I'm putting 12 hours, and when I'm putting 12 hours, it's 8 hours is now divided to 100 percent less pay, and extra 4 hours, which is overtime, is divided to uh, 150 percent of base pay. That means 50 percent more of this pay. First scenario is tested successfully. Now let's pick up one uh, weekend. So, in as per the scenario, you know, in weekend, if you work more than uh, 8 hours or overtime, then uh, it will be compensated 75% more. So, Sunday is in weekend, but it is not in holiday. So, let's put here 8 hours. You can see it, uh, 8 hours is now 100% base pay, and 4 hours, uh, which is the overtime, is now showing base pay 175%. Now uh, let's check uh, third scenario if employee worked in early days, uh, what should be the overtime calculation for that? And then employee if employee worked early days over time, then employee should be compensated 200% pay. So first gen, this is a Tuesday, it is a holiday. You can see uh, the star mark here. So let's check it. 12 hours here, so 8 hours, 100% base pay and uh, 4 hours over 10, 200 percent base pay. So this is good. Now, uh, if employee worked in a holiday, which is in the weekend, how will the system will behave? And in 12 hours, and here also the uh, holiday base over 10 calculation is to find 8 hours person, 4 hours good. So this is how our computer is working good here. So hope you enjoyed this video. Something new we have learned today. Keep watching guys and have learned. Thank you.